This is Dr. Kavya Milani for Virginia Medical Updates. In this program, I do want to address some of the issues that I see often, almost daily, in the Fairfax, Northern Virginia, Washington, D.C. area that has to do with sleep. Insomnia and sleep disorders are exceedingly common in this area. So often as people come to the office, say, Dr. Milani, I can't fall asleep at night time. I can't really um, basically achieve restful sleep. I wake up in the morning and I'm tired, I'm not refreshed. And some of the people obviously may have kind of snoring issues, may have over, be overweight. And oftentimes people may be taking stimulants, for example. So people that are taking Adderall, Ritalin, Concerta, um, upper, so to speak, may have that difficulty with this kind of two or three or four in the morning awakening. And then in order to keep sleep at nighttime, they got to take a strong sedative and sleep medication or Benadryl to keep themselves asleep um, at nighttime. They wake up in the morning more groggy and they have to take more medication. And so that's a, a, obviously a big mess. The best thing um, in the logical and rational interview with the patient is to figure out what is the level of physical activity what time of day are they physically active in? What are they doing in terms of stress management? Um, are they taking any medications that could potentially cause issues? What's the level of caffeine intake? What's their um, waist to hip ratio? What is the potential for snoring and for difficulties with breathing? Um, by a careful examination of the um, back of the throat, the tonsils, the or pharynx, and also to look at um, the level of physical activity. Oftentimes, students sleep in an unusual way. People have exams, they stay up late, or people are watching um, t t TV series like Lord of the Rings or movies or watching um, Game of Thrones on um, Netflix or on, on TV, and basically at, that, at some point, they go, are going to bed at 1.30 at 2 in the morning, and clearly people that binge watch series like that um, are always having problems. Like in a couple of weeks from now, um, House of Cards is going to come out. I know people are going to be binge watching that uh, on Netflix and other things too. So in general, I do recommend that people have a kind of an organized bedtime. Definitely no screen time, no TV, no iPhone, no... Um, iPad, etc., for about um, an hour before bedtime. Um, definitely uh, an organized physical activity level helps. I do encourage people not to drink, drink any um, caffeine or um, very um, intense like black tea before um, they go to bed for a few hours. Um, if people have difficulty falling asleep, warm milk has been studied and has shown some benefit in terms of allowing people to fall asleep easier. And then definitely, again, avoidance of screen time is very important. Keeping a very um, organized schedule in terms of bedtime is very beneficial. And if need be, sometimes there is need to use medications for sleep. There are a number of medications that are very beneficial. And this would be between um, the patient and the physician depending on every kind of variation, individual, individuals, and also the level of tolerance potentially. Um, but I would definitely look at medication that have low um, side effect um, load in terms of being able to put people to sleep easy, kind of comfortable without um, any excessive um, side effects or morning somnolence or drowsiness. The most effective I believe system for managing sleep would be about you know seven to ten days of medication at nighttime to organize sleep in a better way. Once the sleep is better organized, then people can potentially go off the medication because it's like a, like a computer system that is basically locked up. You may kind of unplug it or reboot it, and basically things go back to normal again. When sleep gets kind of a little disorganized, sometimes like seven or ten days of medication should help restore a um, basically a new habit and a new structure. But especially for people that are taking Adderall, Ritalin, uppers, stimulants, 
oftentimes it's very difficult to actually achieve good sleep. So it's key to organize the medications. People are doing, like, uh, uh, doing phenamine for weight loss. Likewise, they have a difficulty with um, waking up at nighttime. And one of the key issues is to actually take the medication away for some time to allow for sleep to be um, put into place again. And once sleep is restored, then people can really emerge kind of normally, functionally happy and go on with their lives in a very productive and useful, meaningful way. So again, in general, increased physical activity for sleep is an essential um, uh, an evaluation of the head and neck for any um, sleep apnea evidence, um, abdominal girth, obesity is an issue, um, asking the bed partner um, about potential um, snoring or apnea episodes are very important. And then otherwise, basically, I think the taking away of all the offending agents and potentially having people um, be on some form of medication maybe for some time to reboot basically and restore their sleep back to normal and then a quick taper off the medication is really the most sane and um, proper way of managing this issue. Again, this is Dr. Kavya Milani checking out for um, Virginia Medical Updates and I look forward to seeing you at a future episode. Thank you.